Hey, it's Jeremy again, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this cool sliced text effect in Illustrator CC. So you can see here, here's the main example I'm gonna show you how to create. It's really simple actually, and what we're gonna do is just gonna cut this text in half so we can customize it, play around with it, and manipulate the text so we can get this cool effect. Here's a couple of other examples as well of how you can do it. You can do different angles, you know, you can color it, the text a bit differently every time, and you get this nice effect. So I'm gonna jump down to this artboard here, and I typed out the word coral. You can also type whatever word you want, but to get the text up, you press T for the type tool and left click once, and then you can type whatever you want in Illustrator. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press P for the pen tool. I'm gonna left click once, go to the other side of the word and left click again. So I have this line, this path here. I'll change the color so you can quickly see the path. So you can see we've got this line here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the line and the text. But you see how the text, how it has a box around it and it's got this underline? That means the text is still live. So that means I can still like go in and type, right? But what we have to do is we wanna select the text first, go to type, click create outlines. This will turn the text into shapes. So now once you've got this and we've got the line, we'll select both of them. I'm gonna go to my Pathfinder tool you can go to window and click on Pathfinder to open it up. And what I'm gonna do is make sure I select it and then I'm gonna click the Pathfinder, the first tool here, which is divide. Once you click that, it will pretty much divide the shapes from one side to the other. So you can see how the line cut through and it used that line as a cutting bit to separate everything. But you can see it's still in one group. So what we have to do is press Control Shift G or Command Shift G. And this will ungroup everything. So now I'm going to hold shift and select the top part and just push that up with my arrow keys. But you can see here it's worked, but I'm going to select everything because you can see we have these extra shapes here and we don't want those. So I'm going to go and delete them. You can also press control Y to go into outline mode and just delete those shapes because it made um, extra shapes because of the spacing within those letters. So we're just going to delete that. I'll press control Y to get out of outline mode. And there we have it, we have this cool sliced effect. I can select everything and group it together. So I'll select the bottom and I'll select the top, group those. So now it's like one group when I move it around. I can go ahead, I can change the colors. I can, you know, do whatever I want. And I can shift it around. Maybe I want it a more like abstract or maybe I just want like a subtle effect. I can just make it like really minimal or I can move it around or like, like do you can do whatever. Like there's so many ways you can do it, but I'm just showing you a quick way of doing it. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments below on the, if you like this style. So let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. I would love to do some more tutorials for you guys. And remember to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell for notifications on new upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.